Optimize Everything, where we strive to educate and inform the viewer about technology and technology-related topics around the world of virtualization. Tonight's video presentation is going to be setting up a Docker server inside of an LXC container on our LXD server that's hosted on a Raspberry Pi 3. That's right, we can run all of this on a Raspberry Pi 3, although it will run better, more efficiently, and smoother on a Raspberry Pi 4. But this day and age, it's kind of hard to get a Raspberry Pi 4, let's face it. So, with that, if you've been following along with the tutorial series, you would have seen us set up a Pi Hole, OpenVPN, and Nextcloud server inside of this LXD installation that we did on top of Raspberry Pi OS. Well, we're going to follow similar steps today, maybe varying a little bit, but similar, and get Docker running. Now, Docker is pretty heavily covered on the internet, and all I'm going to do is run the Hello World image today to prove to you that Docker is working in this container. Maybe we'll go on to playing with Docker containerization later on. Let's start working with Docker. So, the first thing we're going to need to do is create our container. Now, this command is going to be a little bit more complex than the commands that we've used in the past. So, with that, sudo dash i and the command we're using today, which is lxc launch ubuntu colon 2104. You'll recognize that part of the command. The name, docker. Then we're placing a dash c switch and then another security dot nesting equals true. This will allow the container to run Docker correctly. All right, so our container's created. Let's use LXC list to view it. So now let's log into our container. sudo dash i exec docker or the container name and bash lxc and then let's run an apt update update the repository list and install any required upgrades. All right, so now let's use this script to install Docker. curl dash fs capital S capital L https colon slash slash get docker.com dash o switch get dash docker dot sh this will download the installation script for docker press enter now we can run sh get docker dot sh to install docker so as this is installing i would like to note that docker does not have to be installed in a container on this server it could be installed natively but by placing it in a container, it gives me a little bit more control and ease of backing up settings and other stuff as I configure my backup routines. I'll show you how to do that in a future video. So please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing, as well as clicking the bell notification so you don't miss that video on virtualizing many different things. Alrighty, so it looks like Docker's running. Let's run the docker run hello world command to verify that Docker is running correctly. And there's hello from Docker. Docker is up and running correctly. So if you enjoyed this video, found it useful and helpful, consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, have a good night.